Welcome back, everybody, to the goaltender be a pro. So today we are going to jump into some games and save some pucks. I'm not even sure what that was. I apologize. Regardless, we are 5-3-1 and one currently, and we have the Lightning, and I know you guys want to try and get to the playoffs ASAP, so I'm going to just try to play one, Sim 3. I'm still like two videos ahead right now, I believe. I think I have two or three to still put out on top of this one. So yeah, I'm going to do my best to try and fly through because I guess you guys are not super down with the season, you know, but it is what it is. Let's let's get to it, all right? We got Tampa Bay Lightning here, 5-5-1, five, five and one, so they have two more games played than us, and right now we are looking slightly better than them, but it's still very early. So first period, it is, they have six shots and two goals. Don't like that. Second period, still 3-2, and they have 20 shots now. I'm super down with that. Okay, that's a lot better. Jack Eichel is now a golden knight and yeah that's that's quite the trade i was pretty fired up when i saw that like not in the sense of like oh he's out of buffalo or whatever i was just kind of like wow that's a that's a cool trade and jack eichel in the golden knights uniform is going to be unreal so i'm pretty excited for that actually i'm assuming he's not going to be playing anytime soon obviously as he does need to have a surgery but yeah it was also i don't know if people are saying that the Sabres got fleeced. I don't know if they really got fleeced per se, but that's just my opinion. I think it was a relatively fair trade. Or at least I see it that it has the potential to be a relatively fair trade. You know, maybe it turns out that uh, Peyton Krebs just doesn't pan out as he's supposed to. And then, obviously, the Knights won that trade. But it, it really all depends, you know? It all depends on performance. You can't really say... That someone blew someone out of the water with a trade before anything's even happened. I'm trying to remember the other... I think it was Alex Tuck, right? Was the other Golden Knight player that went? Actually, it definitely was. So, yeah. I mean, he's a good player too. So, who really knows? Who really knows? We'll just have to wait and see. But either way, I love when big trades like that happen. So, I was down. And let's just see where it takes the league. Also, fantasy hockey update. So, as you guys know, I'm in a league with some other YouTubers and stuff. And we had a... Not, like, hefty, but a, a decent buy-in. And on top of that, I forgot the draft, and it auto-drafted. So if you don't already know that, then I guess you're finding that out right now. That was a great effort. I'm kind of surprised I didn't go in, actually. But uh, regardless, yeah, so that's a thing. And I've been trying to pick up players, so I've definitely assembled a pretty decent team, considering it started as an auto-draft. So I'm doing all right right now. I'm 1-3, in three, but I'm likely very likely going to win this week and be two and three so it's you know it's not looking good but it's also not looking awful like i know there's already some people in the league that haven't won a game yet i'm pretty sure anyway what a goal that was unbelievable the x factor and everything yeah so right now at one and three i am ninth in the league out of 12 so it's really you know it could be worse and I, my main goal is just to make the playoffs like if i get into the playoffs I consider this year a huge W, considering it was an auto-draft team. That's a big save, and then another one there. I also, speaking of Tampa Bay, facing them right now, I really need Kucherov to return, because he was the one that the auto-draft thing took for me. And now he's out again on LTIR. And also, Nick Backstrom is supposed to be on my team, but he's also on LTIR. Uh, Devin Taves, Devon Taves, I'm not sure which one it is. But regardless, he was on my team, and he finally just came back. Saw it in. That's going to be an easy save there. Actually, I shouldn't say easy. It was kind of scary. I won't lie. It was intimidated for at least half a second. Come on, Steven. Take a shot. That's easy to save. That was not a shot that was easy to save. I was basically trying to go after the Happy Gilmore. Like, that was not nice and easy. But anyway, here we go, boys. Get some offense going. Or not. That's cool, too. Rasmus wasn't feeling it. And if Rosmus wasn't feeling it, then neither am I. But he has been out there for three minutes now, which is a little concerning. He should probably get off the ice, especially after taking that hit. You know, we don't want to risk anything here. Cousins with a great... What a save! That was insane. I don't know who's in net... Well, it's probably... It's be a pro. It could be Vasilevsky. It could be James Reimer, for all I know. The trades that happen in be a pro are just, like, out of this world. That's a good goal. Unfortunately, all right, I can confirm they do have Vasilevsky in net, so 
he's there. And that kind of makes sense as to why he's insane then. Ooh, what's going on? Not a fan of that. Sorelli, poke it, smother it. Mm. All right, it didn't go in the net. I chalked that up as a W. Thankfully, because of that goal that we got near the beginning of this period, we are still up by one. So they haven't tied it up just yet, but they have definitely been getting some pretty good chances. So if Tampa gets another one here, wouldn't really shock me. There we go. There's a save. Oh my word. That was the biggest slide of all time. Another save on Sorelli. You're wide open over there. Do what you want with it, Vicky. I'm not sure how he came back so fast from his snapped arm, but here he is. Eichel now goes for a shot. That was a good shot too, but Vazzy going to stop it. Plekhanov goes for a pass that will wind up behind the net and Saad will get it up to Sergachev. Over the line now. Six minutes to go in the middle to Stamko. Oh, that's a good goal. Man, they are coming to score right now. Like, they have had some really good chances, and they are capitalizing on them. And just like that, we are tied again. As, as I was literally just saying not too long ago, oh, at least we're not tied. Yeah, spoke too soon. Five minutes ago, scores all tied up, 4-4. They definitely don't have 40 shots, so my stats are complete bungus. Here comes the imposter Miller. Couldn't be threes. No shot. There we go. Nice. Good defensive play. Cousins goes across the ice to Oulette, who goes to... What was that? <laughs> I am so confused as to what just happened. Kalorn has it on the side there. He is the one that got the first goal on us. But the Buffalo defense will come out with the puck here. Now Yanmark has it over, goes for a shot that will be kicked aside. Wait, hold on. What who what Miller is that? What number is he? Cuz I just saw a 3 as his first number. It better not be. Did we trade him? I'll be absolutely fuming if that's the case cuz now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I've seen Miller on our team yet. Is that him? It's 3-3. Three, three. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure that's him. This is the way I find out. By playing Tampa Bay, I just find out that Miller got traded, apparently. I, I need to go check our lines after this, because... Well, have I seen him at all this year? We've only done one episode this year, so maybe it was the offseason they just signed him or something. So it turns out it wasn't Imposter Miller after all. It was <laughs> probably the real Miller. That is devastating. But I want to go check after this, just check our lines. But I'm pretty confident that that is... Our mans. Let's at least get this one to overtime. Don't. Ooh, that's a big save. Don't you dare, Tampa. Get out of my face right now. Oh, no. Ah, what a save. Fire me vertical. Yes. Thank you. At least we got a point. I am super down for that. That was terrifying, though. Definitely getting a thumbnail out of that. And I also want to see how many shots they had. So they have, thir we're tied at 32 right now. Three on three action. Stamkos has a breakaway flying poke check. Not a whole lot of three on three action. Not a whole lot. Okay, let's hear what you got to All say, right, James. Time, everyone, ah. we'll catch you up on what went down Do I want to hear this? The the ah, we'll sit through it. Why not? That was not a good game. The took to the ice for a ah. with the Maple tees up a Ooh. Strong... We're in against the Golden Knights. Oh, sorry about that, Jamesy boy. So. Play one, let's sim three. Let's not. Let's not take a look. Boom. First period, 2-1. Second period, 2-2. Two, two. Third period, probably 8-2 Golden Knights, right? Ooh, overtime. And shootout. We took an L. But I still did well. Are we the starting goalie now? Because we are in against the Islanders as well. Also, I forgot. Let's view lines and see what's going on here. So we got uh, defense. Yeah, he's gone. All right, that was him for sure. That is lame. We have another goalie that's better than us, though, don't we? I guess I'm just the starter now by default. Yep, there we go. All right. A game against the Islanders. First period, 1-1. One, one. Second period, 2-1. Third period, 2-1. That's a good game for the Sabres. Absolutely. All right. Are we going to be in against the Ottawa Senators as well? We are not, finally. Okay, let's sim that one. We are 6-3-3. 7-3-3. Three, and three. Seven, three and three. That's good stuff. Pittsburgh Penguins coming up next. And we are not in for this one either. And we are now seven. No, we won it. <laughs> Eight, three, and three. Let's go. We're on a bit of a roll here. Nine, three, and three. Fire me vertical. Come on. All right, we're in against Detroit here. This is our third simulation game. So let's see how this one goes. First period. Love that. Second period. That's okay. Third period. We're actually insane. 
I don't know what else to say. And we have a conversation with the man that was traded to the Golden Knights, but not in this universe. Let's see, what's going on? Uh, we're going to a history museum. I mean, I don't really want to do that, but sure. Okay, uh, diplomatic. Nah, let's just go neutral, whatever, I don't care. End conversation. Brand likability. I still don't get that. It makes no sense to me, but whatever. If our coach tells us we've been playing like poo, I'm going to be fuming, because we have not. Oh, we've been hot lately. All right, cool. So now, yeah, great. Now we have to win the next game, I bet. And promise. Yeah, win the next game and get a shutout. No? Maybe? I don't know what the challenge was. I'm going to find out. Oh, it's just win the next game. Cool. You know what, coach? Maybe I don't want to win the next game. How does that sound? Ooh, okay. Eight, nine, and three flyers. This is very doable. We are 10, three, and three now. Please simulate well. First period. That's okay. Second period. Oh, it's going to be a close one, but here we go. Now, I did not see how many shots they had. I'm assuming they had a fair amount, but that is probably not a good thing to assume. Let me just check real quick because I'm curious. Let's go over. Yeah, they have, okay, 24. That's good. Olafson gets the puck in deep. Provorov will get there first. Now, Voracek, who is not actually on this team, gets the puck. Van Riemsdyk coming over. And he is going to stop up, get past the defense. Don't you dare try to walk out. Voracek in the slot. That is a save. He left you wide open over there, so I will send it. It's going behind the net. My least favorite spot. Okay, that's that's a good play, and I am not passing that out. Because that would have ended tragically. I already know it. Actually, I'm still not really sure if that number beside their name is their shift time. Because if it is, then it's broken. Konechny is going to get hit off the puck there. And Yanmark gets it on the wing. In the middle to Reinhardt, who lets a shot go. The defense going to be in the way of that one, though. Now Provorov carrying it up the ice and gets it to Joel Farabee, who walks in the middle to Provorov. And that will be an easy save. You're open over there, so I'll sauce that out to you. Reinhardt now. A pass to Yanmark on the wing at the hash marks. He gets by his man, able to walk out, and that would have been an unbelievable goal. That would have been a sick individual effort, but... No. He gets turned down. Farabee over the line. Turns back to Provorov. To Ellis, who takes a shot. Manny will kick that one aside as well. Nice. Nice. I love that for me. Not even a good shot. It was just through a screen. And I bit a little too hard to the left there as he crossed in. That's lame. Okay. Come on, Sabres. <laughs> Let's get a goal here, shall we? Not on our own net, Plekhanov. Van Riemsdyk behind the net. And he goes in front. That will be stopped. Olafsson carrying it now for the Sabres. Over the line goes for a shot. What a goal. That's actually kind of similar to the goal that went in on me. And we're back tied 3-3. Love it. Oulette over the line. Let's go 4-3. I don't have a threes anymore, which is sad. But I got a 4-3. And I guess technically Plekhanov is twos. So I could call him that. There we go. Approaching the halfway point here of this third period. For a check with the puck. He is actually just on loan back from... Oh! What the heck? Back from Columbus. That was quite the shot. But um, thankfully it didn't go in. Hit the post. Actually, as of when I'm making this video, Toronto Maple Leafs play the Philadelphia Flyers tonight. So yeah, that's a game I'm going to watch for sure. Hamannick. Gets hit up against the boards there and loses it. Now Archibald stops up. Walks in, goes for a shot that will be saved. Where's the puck? I don't even know where it is. I felt like it was just like riding up Hart's back. But either way, it has been smothered. And the play has been whistled down. Face off to the right of Katahat. 3-7. You better win that. He didn't do it. I think that's middle stat, right? I think that's the number he wears. Skinner with the puck. Back to Madison Bowie, over to Darlene, who's going to take a shot. That was a good shot. Just barely missed the net, but I think that would have went in if it was actually on net. Konechny stops up, gives it to Farabee. That will be stopped. I'm going to pass that to you. Probably shouldn't have done that, but what's done is done. Uh, very fire song from NHL 09? Is it 09? Oh, yeah, give me that team play. Yes, I actually managed to reach for it. Okay, sauce that to you. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Reinhardt doing who knows what with the puck. Pass it to Yanmark. That was probably just all a part of his master plan to have a give and go there as he went and got it. But it didn't really work out for him. 
Let's go, Savers. Come on, let's get another one here. Darlene with the puck. Passes in the middle to Yanmark. Let's a slap shot go, but Katahat will put that one in the mitten. TVR. Wait, this is JVR. Never mind. <laughs> Why do I think TVR? I don't even know. But anyway, um, the other VR. Not video review or whatever it's called either. Oh! He was very upset that I was calling him JVR. I mean TVR. What is going on? Man, we are very fond of overtimes recently. Will we see another one here? I think the odds currently are tipping in favor of yes. Unless the Sabres have another idea. Which I don't think that was part of their idea. Konechny. Oh my word, that was awful positioning on my part. And I still made the save. Thank you. Puck now going the other way. Olafson in the middle. What a play and what a save. Oh man, that was so close. That would have been great, because it would have been not much time left. Would have put us in the lead. Namath has a clear... Oh my word, guys. Come on, I don't want to go to overtime again. We had so many good chances there. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you freaking dare, Konechny. All right, good stuff. Here come the Flyers. Ellis over the line is going to be basically challenged by two Sabres there for some reason. Voracek comes out with it. Giroux gets it now. Where's the puck? I am not, like, this is, if this goes in, I mean, it's not 100% me, but I have no idea what I'm doing out there right now. I am sliding all over the map. Don't you dare. Yes, good job, Olafson. Little two-on-one. Little two-on-one. Eichel's gonna meet Irene with that one. Pass it to him. Oh, he wasn't on his strong hand. What a goal. What a pass. What a shot. Phenomenal play from the Sabres all around. That's gonna be a dub. Huge dub. What's up, James? No? Let's take a look at the rest oh, of the action there he is. The in the I still love that. Game. Just watching this head held so high. Oh, oh, green. Buffalo pulls off some OT heroics and get the win. Heroics. The Coyotes were on the road to take on the Predators. Nashville What's up, Coach Barry? And pick up the win. The Ducks took to the road to match up with the Devils. New Jersey played a tough oh, yeah. one. I forgot that was even a thing. Pull it out in the end. We got to take a quick break, everybody, but we've got a lot more to get to. Stay with us. I 100% forgot we even had a challenge, so that's sick. Completed that. We are in against the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim, so this is going to be, I guess, on the second half here. Sim game one, and that is an ugly L, to say the least, but that's going to happen every once in a while. We've been on a streak recently, so kind of expect it to happen sooner or later. We got Florida, who's not doing so hot. So naturally, they're probably going to light me up like a Christmas tree. Okay, 2-1, one, 4-1. One. Great job, Sabres. Let's go. Fire me vertical. That is sim game number two. And now, we are not in against the Blues. We have 12 wins currently. And we lost to St. Louis. That's lame. Toronto is 15-6-0. Oh, they are doing well. And we take a dub. Great stuff. Anaheim, the Mighty Ducks. We are in against them again. So let's go ahead and simulate this one. First period. Whoa. All right, second period. This is a blowout. Third period. What a game for the Sabres. What a first period, actually. And a solid performance from Tino as well. We got a pretty solid save percentage and a GAA there. So that's good to look at. We are currently 14-5-3 after this episode. Um, let's have a quick look at... I just want to check the lines real quick again. I don't think, yeah, there's nothing really changing here. But we can look at the stats and see what's going on in this department. So we are right now sixth in the division with a record of 14, 5, and 3. Are you kidding me? All right. Thought we'd be higher than that. But it is what it is. Where are we in the league? No. No. No, 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 no. You have got to be kidding me. We are sixth in our division. And 7th in the league. What is that? Individual stat-wise, we have a point a game out of Vicky. We got 30 from Jack Eichel. What a unit. Plekhanov with 16. Middle stat, 16. Reinhardt, 15. And yeah, here's the rest of the players. So, I mean, we're doing good. We're 6th in the league and... Or sorry, 7th in the league and 6th in our division. Which is absolutely absurd. Sorokin has been a machine. A 940 save percentage. He's 5-1-0. Uh, Leno is 2-0-0 with a 921. Wow, the goalies are playing good. Really good. So we are already 22 games into the season, and this is only episode number two. So hopefully this is sort of zooming by fast enough for you guys. Um, if not, then 
Maybe we could do four games for every one we play. Um, that won't take effect right away, probably till the next season, because this video won't be coming out till next week. But, yeah, we're kind of flying through it here. We are currently 9-4-1, um, personally, as a goalie, so that is good. 260 and a 9-11 save percentage. We're doing all right. So, yeah, those games were... I had some shaky moments, but overall, I think we did all right. Tampa Bay lit me up a little bit, but... Those were just good goals, honestly. They were very solid goals. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I will catch you soon.